Uh, what's going on guys uh, welcome back to the shop as you could probably already tell by the title of this particular video this one's gonna be a little different than uh, what we have been doing uh, and that is because we got a new toy to play with now I say toy because it's making me feel like a little kid all over again but this is a particularly powerful unit um, what we have here is a Creality Falcon 2 laser engraver and cutter. Um, I am very excited to dig into this. There are some pretty big claims as far as its capabilities. So let's dig into it and see, see what she's all about. <laughs> All right, guys, so where else to start but in the beginning? That's what we got here. Uh, it's to be an enclosure. Get everything on the back so we can get them Now, one of the selling points of this is its ease of setup. So we're going to get a good idea on what that's all about here in a minute. All right, guys, so we got everything laid out here. We're just going to go through the process of getting this set up as well as identify the components that came along in the package. Now, obviously, this here is our frame. This is going to carry our laser head. And that comes with a set of feet here. These are stackable, so you can raise the machine to whatever level you need to to get to whatever workpiece you're happen to be working on. So we're going to start there and get some feet on this frame. Oh, also to note, there are multiple positions here that you can install the feet on to accommodate smaller workbenches. That's kind of cool. All right, so next thing we're going to do here is identify. This is our air assist module. This is uh, basically just an air pump. And as far as I understand, this is unique to this particular machine in that it uses different volumes of air based on the procedure that you're running to move gases away from the cutting area. It helps to keep the laser lens clean. That's just a simple setup of popping the air hose onto the module. And then plugging that on into the port designed specifically for this particular module. That's so very plug and play. Right, next we're going to mount the laser head itself. That just drops onto the carrier. Through a little dovetail. And tightens up with some thumb screws. Plug the module into its designated port located right behind it. All right, so now that we have the laser head mounted and plugged in, we're just gonna pull our air assist hose here and run the cable in with this here organizer. And then our air hose will plug right into the top of the laser head. Just like a 
nice and low. I guess we can use these little guys to keep it all clean. Next, you're going to want to put something down that's going to protect your working surface. Obviously, you don't want to burn through something if you're making cuts and then <laughs> cut into your workbench. Um, the company was generous enough to send along this here aluminum honeycomb plate. And then a sheet of what I believe to be aluminum. And that'll help protect our workbench surface but these two components are uh, an accessory so it's not included with the standard package so we're gonna get that set up here in our working area and pretty much the only thing left to do is get our power supply going get that routed get all these cables cleaned up and then we will go from there as far as actually getting the laser itself set up see what we can do all right guys so just as a quick recap we took our all of our components out of the box um, got our feet fastened onto the frame of the machine mounted our laser head here these two thumb screws Drop right on in on that dovetail. I just did a little wire cleanup with uh, some one wrap. There's extra uh, one wrap included with the kit so that you can do a little extra tidying up. I actually moved the air module over to this side with the power supply and then got that signal right on this corner here. We have a knob we can go up and down on our air. And power right on over on this side. Very, very simple setup. Easy peasy. Now on to the next. All right guys, so now that we got all of our hardware components set up and ready to rock, now it's time to do a little bit of the software stuff. Um, at the moment, there are a few programs that you can operate this laser with. It's a very new machine, so there's not going to be any preloaded specifications for this uh, piece of hardware. Um, I decided to use Lightburn. Uh, they do, uh, I think it's a 30-day free trial on that, so you can give it a try without any expense. Um, we're just going to open that up. Now, on your initial uh, setup of Lightburn, it's going to prompt you to input your machine uh, the, the hardware type for the CNC controller as well as the working dimensions of the bed of the laser itself. Um, the guys at, over at Creality have made this super simple. There's a little tutorial in your TF drive and they actually have a software package that you can simply import into the initial prompting screen so you just input the file for whatever software you decide it's all in here it'll lead you through it step by step um, but once you get that set up and it knows what laser you're working with and what your dimensions are you're ready to go so now we're going to import a file on the thumb drive here and that's going to be our duke heritage logo and we're going to want to modify that just a little bit so that it translates a little better with our laser edge. So we're going to come down just image. We're going to try and just clean this image up a little bit so we can get a little more clarity. All right, so we cleaned up our image a little bit and then I am gonna wanna cut this out. So we're gonna do a trace and that's gonna convert our image into lines. And then we're gonna turn off the completed image and show just the lines. Now we don't wanna cut all of these. We don't wanna address every single line, but we do want to add a little bit of sharpness. So this is going to be a second layer. 
and we're going to allow the laser to run through. It'll do all the shading and then it'll, on a second layer, come back through and highlight all of these lines and make them a little more crisp. Now we're going to add an offset because we're going to want to cut this out of our media that we're using. So highlight our image. All right, so we're going to make this offset a new layer. So we need to pick a color down here and that'll create our layer for us. Now since this is gonna be our cut line, we wanna adjust our power. We're gonna to go to 100%. And we're gonna bring our speed way down. All right guys, so we got our media placed in. Um, we're gonna go ahead and power up the machine. And we're gonna take notice, we have three indicator lights right here. This is a triple monitoring system. It's going to monitor your, our airflow. It's going to look for our fire and our lens cleanliness and clarity. Now, the air assist on this is unique to this particular machine, and what it does is, well, it pumps some air so that as it's cutting, it's moving gases away from the laser lens and keeping it clean. And if you have any problems with any of these systems, these indicator lights here will let you know that there's a problem. Once it goes through its self-check, so now we're going to set our focal height of the laser. I'll get you a little view of what we're working with here. So we're going to set to the highest for engraving. We're just going to loosen up the thumb screws. Set that just underneath the laser carrier. Let it rest on top of our block. Retighten our thumb screws and pop that guy out. Send it back home. We're going to frame our media to make sure that our file, as it cuts, fits onto the media. Doesn't necessarily have to be square because it's getting cut out. Looks like we're good to go on that, so we're going to run our first layer. All right, so we got our first engraving done. Now we're going to hit output off on the primary, and then we're going to hit output on on our lines. Just so you can see what we're going to be doing. We'll turn off the show on every other. And then we're going to run that and go from there. Well, what do you think? I don't know about you guys, but I'm pretty impressed. Uh, this being 
the second piece that I've ever turned out with this machine with about an hour's worth of experience playing around with the software uh, leads me to believe that not only is there more to learn, uh, there's definitely more capability to be found. Really, really liking the three dimensions that this was able to produce. It's legitimately carved. Our lines are nice and clean and crisp. The cut, <laughs> I'm especially excited about this because uh, most of the ratings that they were giving in the description uh, of the machine in particular and its capabilities were uh, in the direction of uh, wood cutting anyway was all based on basswood. This is 3 8 birch ply and it went through it like nothing. Very clean. So yeah, I'm very excited. Um, some of you might have noticed that, you know, there's definitely a bit of smoke generated as it's running. Um, they were nice enough to send along an enclosure, have some ducting, and we even got a fan so we can actually power vent out of this here enclosure. Uh, we do have to set that one up. But I figured for the sake of video, you guys would want to see everything that's going on. So yeah, and even this fan, this is everything's plug and play. It's set up exactly as they claimed it would. Uh, it's basically pre-assembled. Um, you know, just mounting the legs, mounting the laser, routing the cables, and she's pretty much ready to go. And as you can see here, we have an auxiliary axis. So I'm very, very excited to start playing around with that. I think we might touch on that in the future and see how we can incorporate this here machine into a lot of the projects that come out of this shop. So I am uh, very excited moving forward. Um, please do let me know what you guys think uh, in the comments. I will leave some information uh, for this particular machine in there as well if you want to check it out in any uh, further detail. Uh, dig into some of the specifications. Reality is actually going to be running a sale on these things on their Amazon store site. Um, I will put a coupon code in the description of this video, which will get you uh, U.S. customers 20% off from June 14th to September 14th. So uh, be sure to check that out. I'll give you a, a link to that Amazon page as well as the coupon code. So if you could, if you would, please hit that like button. Uh, consider subscribing if you haven't already. And uh, yeah, I don't know. Just let me know what your thoughts are in the comments. And uh, I love you guys. I'll see you on the next one.